the rankings came out, the College Football Selection Committee, Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, Ohio State. No real movement there. Uh, you got AM on the doorstep, Iowa State, Florida. Florida loses to LSU, a subpar LSU team, and I'm being polite, and loses at home and drops one spot. Okay. Once I once again, I just would love, you know, just give me transparency here. Like, let me not add logic to this, because when I add logic, my head explodes. I, 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 I hope one day we get to watch a meeting. You know, it's like the selection committee with college basketball and March Madness. Like, I would do, just let us see. Just let us hear what you talk about so we understand it. So at least let us be in on, you know, the joke. Because Florida, that's, that's a terrible loss by Florida. Now, you can say, well, it was a last-second field goal and, you know, a player threw a shoot. You, it shouldn't have been that close. You're playing LSU. And you have Alabama coming up. But they've left the door open for Florida. If Florida beats Alabama, does Florida get in? And my college source said again last night that he thinks if Clemson loses to Notre Dame, A&M gets in. And I said, well, man, they, they love shiny objects there. To get Trevor Lawrence in there and Dabo, I don't know. And I, I said, you know, Tennessee plays A&M. Is there any chance? He goes, no, it's Tennessee. And I go, oh, okay, my bad. I, I said, you know, we always subscribe to the, you, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. You can't say, you got no chance. Because we've seen that, that, yes, Todd, what? They'll never let us listen in on those conversations as much as we'd love to. Mm-hmm. They, they, if, and if they did put cameras in there, they'd be passing secret notes like, we got to have Ohio State and it's the Buckeyes. Are you kidding me? There's no way they could actually verbalize that for the world to hear, even though it's blatantly obvious to most of us. It just feels like they have, you ever had the telemarketer who calls and, and you say something and they got an answer back for you? And then you say something and then they got an answer back for you? And you're going, man. They're really good. It feels like the, the, the college football playoff committee has post-its. So when you go, uh, okay, so what, what, okay, when they bring up Coastal Carolina, oh, just say, say that, say, say that, okay. Uh, they haven't played a tough schedule. And then it'll be Cincinnati. Cincinnati hasn't played since the third week of November. Yeah, how am I doing? Yeah, you're, you're doing great. Um, Ohio State's played five games, but they passed the eye test. Okay. All right. All right. Why, do you, why do you guys love Iowa State so much? Why do, why do we love Iowa State so much? Uh, <laughs> um, they have a really good quarterback. They have a good wide receiver, good tight end, and good running back, and they're playing really well as of late. How am I doing? That's good. Yeah. Okay. That's what it feels like. They have talking points. We'll talk to Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, because if we expanded the playoffs to eight teams, they'd have, what, three, four teams in there? Yeah, if if, the, if there was an eight-team playoff this year, the SEC would have three of the teams currently. And the first-round matchup, as of right now, would be Georgia-Bama, Florida-Notre Dame. That would be a, a lot of money, a lot of good football. But I get A&M, too. Yep. Oh, yeah, A&M. Right? Yes, McLovin. I think they put Iowa State at six, so when Oklahoma blows the doors off them, they can have the same Final Four they do every single year and get Oklahoma back. I know. know. (laughs) But when the season started, I think I didn't have Notre Dame in the Final Four, but it was Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, and I don't know what the other school was. But, you know, you just go, okay, it's it's probably around five, six, seven teams that we factor in there. Every year. And it's going to be the same. It's National Signing Day. Check, you know, who's got the best recruiting classes coming in. Chances are Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, they're going to be up there in the top three. Yes, McLovin. Yeah, so what would a spread be? I keep asking this, but isn't there an argument that Clemson would be like, you know, huge favorites over these other teams, even the Cincinnati? I don't know about Cincinnati, but Florida, I know they lost, but they're a better team than than some of the other teams. 
But do they, they deserve to only drop one spot when they lost at home to LSU? Like LSU? I, LSU. LSU. But that's what I want to know. Just tell me. Because it just feels like all else fails, keep power conferences in the top 10. I mean, that's just what it feels like. And there's no way you can convince me Florida should drop only one spot at home against LSU. And they lost. Georgia has not even been in the conversation for a long time. And they still hover because they're in the SEC. That's all. Just let us know. what Are you playing chess, playing checkers? Like, maybe you're playing Parcheesi. Like, we don't know. But that's what I'm trying to figure out here. I don't think that's asking too much, is it? 